Digital currency is a trend we are dealing with today. Payments, money transfers, posting of bills, and other online transactions have never been easier with just a click in your gadget. Who could have thought we evolved to this? What's more is how our e-money and technological pieces keep on evolving. In just a matter of hours, currencies can change to different formats and types. We are about to learn about more of their similarities and differences as we delve deeper in these topics. But first, hello and welcome back to the channel! This is Financial and Investment Wisdom, and we're back with another incredible video! Here, we talk about the world of cryptocurrency, finance matters, and investments. So please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of each new upload. With the use of digital currencies, we have done a great deal of new things thanks to the unique features and accessible qualities. Money has never been easier to manage. For today's video, we are going to learn what cryptocurrency is, what you use it for, how to earn it, and the difference between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, which are both examples of digital currency. Let's begin! Cryptocurrency goes trendy. Firstly, we need to know what cryptocurrency really is. And cryptocurrency is all about transactions. Trading is a fundamental economic concept that entails the purchase and sale of assets. These can be goods or services, with the buyer compensating the seller. In other cases, the transaction may involve the trading parties exchanging goods and services, and trading has never been more efficient than with cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is a type of digital payment system that is managed by a network of computers and uses cryptography to authenticate transactions. Some cryptocurrencies may qualify as securities depending on how investors expect to profit and how they are structured. If traders in these currencies prop up the price and go online to spread rumors, this could be considered fraud. It can be difficult to tell if a bubble exists. The only way to avoid a burst bubble is for everyone to use it. People are using cryptocurrency wallets because merchants are beginning to accept them as legal tender. Japan's new legislation enacted in April 2017 and Australia's enacted in July allow retailers to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. Ten financial institutions have placed enough trust in Bitcoin that they use Ripple to send real-time payments. There is a global agreement among 56 companies on scaling Bitcoin and reaching an agreement on a settlement process. Blockchain will disrupt every industry, and digital currencies will drive new business model innovation, accelerating and scaling business outcomes to unprecedented levels. This revolution may be a bubble or the beginning of a financial realignment. As a result, investors are cautiously optimistic about the success of blockchain, the revolutionary technology behind cryptocurrency. Blockchain technology represents a seismic shift like that of email and web in the 90s and Facebook and Twitter a decade later. This innovative technology also makes Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies possible without centralized authority. But cryptocurrencies are just the tip of the iceberg, with much larger and more essential things lying below the surface. Blockchain technology has the potential to create countless opportunities everywhere. Stablecoins are classified as assets because their value is derived from the value of an external asset. The USDT, for example, derives its value from the US dollar. The value of gold, GLC, is linked at the value of gold. Previously, if investors wanted to get rid of a cryptocurrency, they could do so by exchanging it for another cryptocurrency, which may or not be preferable, or fiat currency. Because stablecoins are now available, they can choose to stay in the crypto ecosystem by exchanging their cryptocurrency for a more stable cryptocurrency while they decide on the next best option. According to CoinMarketCap.com data as of December 14th, the cryptocurrency market was worth more than $2.2 trillion in 2021. The cryptocurrency market was only worth $10 million in 2011. According to a Statista report, the crypto market reached a $10 million market cap for the first time on February 9th, 2011. On November 10th, 2021, the crypto market cap was $3,048.57 billion, or approximately $3 trillion, according to the same data. There were only a few cryptocurrencies back then, and their primary goal was to provide a cheap and fast alternative to the US dollar for cross-border payments. With more information from CoinMarketCap.com, it seems that there are more than 15,000 cryptocurrencies as of December 13th, and more are being added every day, though it remains to be seen how many are left in the end. 
Good day, mate. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it thus far. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and turn on notifications to be notified of new uploads. Now you know what cryptocurrencies are and how they are conquering the buy and trade industry of today. Are you invested in such means too? Which cryptocurrency are you using or interested in? Let us know in the comments. Let's get on to the second part of the video where we compare two in-demand cryptocurrencies by users. Bitcoins, the first but not the only. Bitcoin was the first digital currency and it was mined by millions of people in various locations around the world. Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin's pseudonymous creator, created the decentralized system in which anyone could participate but no one could own. Despite the fact that it was open to all, Bitcoin transactions were supposed to be anonymous. When Bitcoin first appeared in 2009, the promise was that it would be the universal electronic currency that could be transferred around the world in minutes. However, Bitcoin possesses characteristics that make it more than just a coin, but also a thing of value as well as a payment network. The exponential rise in the value of Bitcoin has piqued the interest of major banks and even Wall Street. For example, in 2010, a developer paid bitcoins for two pizzas through the forum bitcointalk.org. After a few years, the value of those bitcoins has risen to $425 million. They're now worth more than $2,600, more or less, but there's not much to spend it on. There is no central authority that issues or controls Bitcoin. The blockchain's transactions are verified by the computers that run it, and these computers can be owned by anyone. The blockchain is decentralized. Transactions on the blockchain are stored and submitted in blocks. By solving a complex math problem, the computers verify the entire block of transactions at once. When the problem is solved, the transactions in the block are verified and a new Bitcoin is created. This Bitcoin is given to the computer that solved the problem. This is referred to as mining. Bitcoin Cash, great alternative. Did you know that Bitcoin Cash evolved from Bitcoin? Yes, Bitcoin Cash nodes were once a part of the Bitcoin blockchain. Bitcoin Cash is a Bitcoin fork. There are numerous Bitcoin forks, but none are as widely used or well-known as Bitcoin Cash. When the original code of a blockchain is updated, but only some of the nodes, computers on the blockchain accept the update, a fork occurs. The original blockchain, such as Bitcoin, remains unchanged, while the updated nodes split off from the original blockchain to form a new blockchain, such as Bitcoin Cash, and the coins on the blockchain become distinct from those on the original blockchain. Bitcoin Cash is a cryptocurrency that operates on its own blockchain. It functions similarly to a digital currency with Bitcoin Cash mining producing new BCH, Bitcoin Cash. It was founded at the end of 2016, making it significantly younger than Bitcoin. Bitcoin was forked to create Bitcoin Cash because the Bitcoin developers wanted to make some significant changes to Bitcoin. The Bitcoin community's developers were unable to reach an agreement on some of the changes they desired to make. As a result, a small group of these developers forked Bitcoin in order to create a new version of the same code, but with a few changes. The Show Off Although they are the same at function and objective, they still have a number of differences. First is that Bitcoin Cash offers cheaper transfer fees than Bitcoin. You can save a lot more in transactions if you use Bitcoin Cash. That's why people like using this alternative better when trading with others. Second, Bitcoin Cash can transfer your money faster. Another positive point for this cryptocurrency. If Bitcoin transfers with an average of 10 minutes, it won't take nearly as long for Bitcoin Cash. Third and lastly, since Bitcoin Cash can handle money businesses in a cheaper and faster way, it can manage more transactions per second. That's why more people are prone to use Bitcoin Cash than Bitcoin. It saves them money and time. That's the comparison between using Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. We hope you have decided on which cryptocurrency to use. There are also other altcoins you can consider if you don't like these digital currencies. Be sure to check our channel for videos of that. That concludes today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads. This is Financial and Investment Wisdom, and we'll see you in our next video.